Welcome everyone. Welcome to another nice Sunday evening stream. So, what we are going to do today, something quite fun. So you know how sometimes I like to drown people? I like to, I don't know, kill people with rights. All that good stuff. Well, today that's all we're gonna do. Hey Roland, welcome. Good to see you here. Yay, murder. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That would probably be a better title. So, let's start. As usual, we'll take the build your own Six Flags Park. Senpai noticed me. How could I ignore you? Alright. Before we do anything strange and murderous, let's start like we usually do. With a nice, rustic merry-go-round just to get us going hello Ben Killer. welcome to the stream oh thank you very much Zork for the sub alrighty so a couple of things I will use cheats just to make things more interesting. Let's say that. Ah, yeah, let's build a couple of stalls so that we can start running all advertisements. Alright, have fun, Parabola. I like Parabolas, they're nice shapes. Alright, let's build a couple of more stalls. Ooh, a balloon stall. How could I forget? So, looks pretty good so far. I know, I know. We're just getting started. Because we do need guests. Oh, and also, before I forget, you guys will be able to spawn in the park. Um, There we go. Need to... No, that's the wrong one. This one. Integration. Alright, that should work. Okay, what I'm going to do, never-ending marketing campaigns. Um, and guests will ignore intensities. This way. I can do these advertisements and they'll last forever. Which just makes things a bit easier for me to manage. And it also means that we'll get a constant influx of guests. Hey, I have already entered the park. Oh, I don't have the money. Well, now I do. Those commands don't work. Not for this stream. You guys can spawn in the park. We'll get a little notification down here. But that's all. Alright, let's start with something simple. We'll build a little maze. You know, fairly easy. But we will not build an exit path. No, no, no. That would be uh, too kind. No, 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 no. We'll build an exit pool. Well, 
Well, I wouldn't say this is where the real maze begins. Uh, ooh, exit bath. I like that. Ooh, 69 viewers. Nice. Is this guy already tired? No, the other guy. You. You've just gotten into the park. Dude. Why are you going to a park? When you're tired. Alright, let's turn on guest names because I want to make the deaths a bit, little bit more personal. There we go. We have real names now. Let's make a Marcel the... Uh, 11th, I think we're on. Let's see how long he survives. Oh, whoops, typo in the name. Right, we have some nice guest spawnage. If that's even a word. It means, which means we will not run out of guests. Shut up my Windows Defender. Um, build a wooden coaster that uses boosters to go up to the highest height possible. Make it 6 feet to reverse trains and make it crash onto one of the edges of the map. We can do something like that. Oh, hi k Shizzle. It's going pretty well. I had a nice day today. Played some Age of Empires with a couple of friends. Um, let's start with a normal coaster. Well, I say normal. Uh, my definition of normal may not be equivalent to yours. Which Sif you chose? Um, I was often the Franks. Um, I like the Franks. I've been Celts twice, I believe, and the Mayans. Although the Mayans was both randomly picked for me. Alright, no banked turns. Obviously not. Damn, this maze is popular. I want I might want to make it more difficult to prevent so many guests from drowning. Otherwise it might be a bit too extreme. I prefer Civ 6. Uh, it, I mean they're similar games, but I I like both. I wouldn't say that like one is better than the other or something. They're so so different. It's like saying you prefer Minecraft over Rollercoaster Tycoon. Alright. Now, I could just do this. Uh, close it. I could just make it launch at 96 kilometers an hour. Which is fairly extreme. If we test it. Not extreme enough though. Build a ro oh, that's scrolled again. Build a roller coaster that is straight up to the high limit and then is like straight up and down in quick succession until it ends. I'll do something like that. Okay, this is cool. But it's not good enough. Uh, this is more interesting. Ah, that's more like it. Faster! Notice how... The faster a train goes, the higher the sound gets. But at a certain point, the sound is so high that the sound itself overflows. Back to the low sound again. Oh, 
Alrighty, now this is more like it. <laughs> this is not fast forwarded. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> It's arriving at station. Now, what if I do this? What if I put my auto clicker? <laughs> I'm gonna get motion sick from this. <laughs> uh, it'll be a while before we have the stats, but eventually we'll get them. The problem is that it's too fast for the station, and so it can't stop it. Which means it'll do many more laps than the advertised 20. Eventually it'll stop. It'll take a while though, but it will... Oh, there we go. Huh, it did not overshoot the station. That's odd. Okay, we don't have the stats yet because I changed the number of laps while it was still testing. Um... Yeah, it just straight stopped, which is which is weird. Maybe OpenRST2 has changed that. Oh, what I should also forget, not forget, is making Umbrella 20 bucks. It's fairly standard practice, but I would still consider it bad to do that. Oh, and of course, we can't have that. Uh, I'll remove these trees for now because they're a bit in the way. We can't have benches and bins. Not in the worst park ever. Oh, hey, I can also remove them without removing the path. Did not know that. 20 buck toilets. Well, the problem about. 20 bucks toilets is that guests just won't use them so while yes it would make the park worse it's also kind of useless but let's do it anyway I will not do that to the other stalls though because like I said then guests won't buy them which is odd oh I can do something fun about speaking about health toilets you inspired me wait where's the mechanical theming why do I not have mechanical theming? I'm missing my... F oh, wait. I confused this with my test park. This is not my test park. Um, which does have it. Let's see. Inventions list. Move all items to top. Now I have mechanical theming. Will we have very wide footpath? Of course, of course. Um, see, this is why I live stream this and don't do it on my own. You guys have so many better ideas than I do. There we go. Now it's hell toilets. Ah, yeah, now it's crawling. And it will keep this speed. Um, why is it going so slow? Well, I can explain that. Um, the station brakes are not strong enough. Um, once a train goes over a certain speed. Station brakes are very strong. But not infinitely strong. And um, if a train overshoots the station, it will eventually still slow down to the speed that it has when a train is arriving at the station. And the game thinks that it's at the station, so it's moving it towards the end of the station, which is around the entire track. Because right now it's getting close to the or front of the station. So it will move at this um, at this speed until it reaches the end of the station. No matter if it's going up or down or whatever. Um, I don't think that works, Arceus. They'll just not use the toilets at all above twenty or above sixty cents, I believe. Okay. Um, some people have path ideas. 
which I will realize. Let's do that. And let's do that. First thing I said on the stream, well, my apologies, um, I do not see everything. This is not just double path. Disable people from leaving. That's not a bad idea. It might not be viable to do that for the entire stream. We may have to disable it at some point, but we'll see. <laughs> this is what peak par performance looks like. Oh god, this is so horrible. Okay, do we have the stats yet? Yes, we do! 90 intensity! Oh, those are some great stats. Uh, I think this is their item level. Still 4.48 excitement though. That's not bad. I think those G-forces might be deadly. But you know... It's all relative. Compared to the G-Force of being sucked into a neutron star, this is pretty much nothing. So, you shouldn't complain. Alright, that's the wrong button. This coaster already adds over $64.80 to the park entrance fee. I never know how the park enters fee works. Well, I know sort of. I know that, like, the right price ties into it. That's pretty cool. Let's do it 50 then. Okay, we obviously will not have any of these. Of uh, handyman. I will have mechanics though. Because, you know, rides do need to be running. I could just do a cheat to not make them break down. But it's whatever. You do a Ferris wheel with 99 rotations. Oh, no, 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 no. I will not do that. That's much. 99 rotations. That's a terrible idea. It's way too few. We can do more. We can do way more. Let's surround this with path. Because why not? <laughs> Best queue line ever. I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's make this take up. 255. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a long Ferris wheel. And you can't make it any higher than this. You maybe can with some ultra hacking. Dirkling might be able to do it. But I can't. <laughs> the worst thing is that I changed the number of um, of rotations after I opened it. So it will not get the stats this time. We have to wait until it has done it twice until we get the stats, which will take forever. <laughs> this is a truly terrible park. Alright, let's make... A nice calm observation tower. Although if you know me. Uh... Oh I was just about to do it exactly the other way around. Max Arceus.
which means a launched observation tower. Uh, let's see, how can I connect this? There we go. Have both, of course. Although this one will not be too tall. In fact, I think I'm going to make it even smaller. Yes, this is going to be fun. Um, how about we do it just tiny? Then I'm, I'm going to need cheats for this. I'm already using cheats, so it doesn't matter. Because I need upward launch mode. Then a little bit of a faster launch. I can't get over that metal acoustic down there. Well, for me, the best thing so far is definitely this Q line on the Ferris wheel. It just came to me in a, a bolt out of the blue that I could do that. <laughs> uh, what does this do? <laughs> I did not expect that. No. <laughs> Apparently I do need a top on it. Alright, what well, what's gonna happen now? Will this uh, what? It stopped but it still flew off. What how How? It did stop. How did... Wait, has it landed yet? N no. It hasn't even landed yet. It's still crashing. According to the game. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it crashed underground. Whoa. Let's look at that again. Let, you know, I'll, I'll slow the game down. Um, slow the game down to four times as slow. Um, let's get rid of the underground view. Look what happens. It stops. And then it goes up again. That's so weird. Alright, what happens if we make it a couple higher? Yep, still happens. That's cool. But it does mess with what I wanted to do. I wanted it to just stop and then go down. Uh, but that's not going to happen. Okay, what, what if we make it the tallest possible? Nope. Still crashing. Does it even still stop? Oh, it doesn't. Well, that's a failed idea. I'm pretty sure it used to not do this, but... Oh, well. Let's do the other way around then. Um, we'll make this very tall. And... We'll do the, like this too, rotating lift mode. And then it's just... Super slow. It's just... Gonna be like this. If you set the speed to 11 kilometers per second. Did you mean kilometers per hour? Um, will the car never crash? So, this will take a while. Um, why is the coaster still popular? Because I enabled a cheat that makes guests ignore intensity. Um, 
which is useful for parks like these. Oh, escape velocity. <laughs> I don't think you can go that fast. The fastest speed I have ever achieved in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. You know, I can see if I can achieve it in this park as well. The fastest speed I've ever achieved is 2200 kilometers an hour. Which involves, weirdly enough, a go-cars. Can you make a gentle car ride like a launched coaster ride? Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Sure. Um, let's see. Of course, it'll be have to be very windy. That's the word I was looking for. Otherwise, it's not fun now, is it? If you make a coast that's just a teeny circle with two station segments and do max loops and max launch speed. Sometimes it gets even faster than launch speed. Not by much though. I think. Like only a little. Because that coaster, the looping coaster, has a max speed of 240, no, 940 kilometers per hour or something, while the launch speed is 920. Which is close enough that I would say that's, you know, accurate. Alright, let's do this one. This is always fun. There we go. Ooh, I know a fun thing we can do. Also, um... Let me quickly change the title of this stream. I have a, I know of a better title. Building the most cursed. Cursed right, that's the thing. Um Because that allows me to do more fun things than just worst. Okay, this one needs to be longer. Now, so far it's boring. Oh, I need to close it. Is anyone even on the Ferris wheel? No, it's not, because it's still doing the 255 laps from when we first tested it. Alright, let's test this. That's more like it. Good enough. The thing isn't done yet. Oh, it is. Oh, it gives you the. Of course, you don't need to test this thing to get the stats. So, 64 intensity, 64.05 nausea, and 15.28 excitement. <laughs> yes, 15 excitement. <laughs> That's more than my best floorless coaster ever. Look at that queue line. That's 250 people. It's a terrible ratio though. Less than a quarter. Alright, I had something in mind. Alright. Um, fast go-karts. Now let's do this. This is fairly... Well, not, do, not that complicated. I will build this at the edge of my park. Sort of. Although, it can't really be at the edge. The thing is, if I build it at this edge, then it's constantly in the view. I'll build it at this edge, and I'll just build a long path towards it. Because this is, like I said, a bit complicated. But it's also a lot of fun. Now let me... Remember how to do this. Oh, right. I know. Because this is big. This is very big. Um, okay. Before we start that, let's build a path. Ah, I gotta love my auto clicker. Now guests can get to it. Okay. 
We're gonna need a lot of cheats for this. Um, we're gonna need disable clearance checks. And we're gonna need arbitrary write type changes. Now we need to change this to a twister coaster. Doesn't need to be a twister coaster, but it needs to have this type of uh, track piece. Uh, no support limits, of course. I'm not sure, I don't think we need turns all the way. So let's just do this. This is gonna be great, guys. It's gonna be the fastest ride I've ever built in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And then now we go down. Oh, this may be a problem. Oh, money. Uh, money is a problem. Not anymore. Uh, I don't have the space. Alright, let's build it somewhere else. Um, new one. I need more space, so I'll build it here. Now I definitely have enough space. I promise you this is going to be great. Warp speed. Well, it will be faster than the speed of sound. So, do you guys remember the... Um, the, the, por the portal coaster video? Or the one that I built a couple of weeks ago on a stream? Alright, this is the highest it can be. Because this is going to be just like that. Alrighty. I think. Alright, now I want to continue building there. Alright, that needs to be deleted. Now we need to turn this back into a go-kart. There we go. Has anyone here gotten crashes from restraints, restraints stuck close to breakdown? I can try to get one. So this is why I built it at the end of the at the edge of the park. Because of these supports. I don't want them to be in the screen all the time. Alright, let's do just two just two uh, three cars. And let's have three cars per train. Uh, I'm gonna need an entrance and exit. Alright, I'm also gonna need some extra glitches to run this. Because some extra cheat cheating stuff, otherwise it won't work well. Thank you very much, Denda69420. For the sub. Nice numbers. Alright. Um Right, before I can open this, it does need to be in race mode. Oh, and I need more laps. Way more laps. <laughs> that path. <laughs> well, I did warn you. It was cursed. Okay. To do this. Yes. I need to do this. No, wait. I need to not do that. I need to... Do it like this. This is easier. Yes. Okay. And now I can test... Oh, I can still not test it because it's still not a complete lap. I think that's because I need to flip these around. Um, now it's a complete lap. Now we'll pause. And I'll delete this piece. Delete this piece. Delete this piece. Delete this piece. Um. Yeah, I messed up. I messed this up. My bad. This is not gonna work like this. Um, because I need this track piece. I need to put that back 
where I took it and I did not have access to that. So now I need to swap these around. Open, then pause. Then I need to select this thing, copy. Um, I need to move this, move this. Then I need to paste, turn around and oh, God damn it. No, wait, this is fine. This is fine. I can copy this. I can paste this and then lower it. Not like that, like that. And then if everything goes well, I can delete all of these. And now it should be able to run like I want it to. So, like I said, this was fairly complicated. And it took a bit of time. But, now it will hopefully, um, once we finally get enough guests over here, work. Oh, I need to do another thing. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Kill7230. I need to do one more thing, which is, if I open the console... Now, before I do that, I need to know the right ID of this right. It is 15. So, we need to open the console and do right set mass. I'm not sure if we need like an underscore there. Then a very high number. Um, I'm not sure if this has done anything. Right. Oh, right ID and then value, of course. 15. Wait. No right found with index 15. Oh, this is 14. I looked in the wrong position. There we go. Now it's worked. And now we play the waiting game. We need enough guests, which uh, admittedly might take a bit. So to speed that up, um, I'll spawn in a couple of guests. I'll also increase the park rating a bit. Let's make this 420. All right, let's make this bit a bit more interesting in general. Oh, I know something fun. I want a haunted house. And we can do this. And we'll make it go. Uh, 31 buildings. No, we don't want that. We want just a single building. But what we do want is berserk mode. And this might give some interesting graphical glitches. Let's test it first. Let's see if it does some fun... Th ah, there we go. This, uh, this is not entirely normal. <laughs> this is new, though. It used to do different things. <laughs> Could you make a free transport ride with two stations? Entry in the park and exit outside park borders. I definitely could. Yeah, that's an interesting idea. Okay, this is not as interesting as I thought it would be, but still fun graphical glitches. <laughs> Why does it remind me of the Club Penguin dance? <laughs> no idea. Okay, where are the guests? There, the guests are come. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> This is worse than I expected. <laughs> oh, I want to make some money. Let's make it rain. There we go. We're gonna be rich. Now let's make it a blizzard. Huh, they do not buy umbrellas in blizzards. I did not know that. Are there people on the Ferris wheel yet? Nope. <laughs> it's taking that long. Okay, we're almost at the go-karts. Yes, they're going in. 
Why are they turning back? No. I need to do this. And that. Now they'll be facing towards the go-kart, which means they'll have a higher likelihood of going into it. 60 cent umbrellas. No, no, no. That's the... What's it called? Map. In the most cursed park, shouldn't the umbrellas be free? I suppose it would be cursed to what, towards what I normally do. But expensive umbrellas would... I would... Ah, it just crashed. That's not what I wanted. Oh, but... Wait, what... Oh, they're just going at one kilometer per hour now. Uh. Oh, now they're going fast. Whoa, that sound though. And they're stopping again. This is not the behavior I expected. But it's interesting. <laughs> Maybe it's to do with the fact that we have multiple cards. Um, let's reduce this to a single train. And let's do this again. So we'll copy this, paste it there, because we're going to need that later. Um, we'll do that. You know what, I'm not even going to remove this anymore. I'm just going to get this out of the way. <laughs> um, now we can open the right, pause. Um, hang on, I need to reselect this. There we go. Copy. Paste. I need to do that. I need to do that. Alright, let's see what it does now. 50 laps. So that should be some nice space to get up to speed. The idea of this ride is that the carts instantly teleport towards the top of the hill, which is, as you can see, very tall. Then they'll go down and instantly teleport up again. So... Oh, reset crash state is not a bad idea. So, essentially, this is a ride that only goes down. Which means infinite speed. Not quite infinite because you can't reduce the friction to zero. But you get the idea. Trains of go karts Well, I was using trains because they were going much faster than normal uh than normal one card things when I tried it. Okay, let's make the transport ride with an exit outside of the park. And we'll check in on the go cards later. For that, we do need sandbox mode. Yeah! <laughs> I had to go kart uphill both ways. <laughs> nice meme. Let's also turn on clearance checks again because I don't like to have them off. I only like to have them off when I actually need them to be off. That's a big polonaise. Yeah, it definitely is. Alrighty. Oh, actually, actually, what I want to do, what I want to do is this. Let's see what happens. If I build the exit right onto the edge. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to turn off this cheat. That's much better. All right, let's wait for full load. There we go, three trains. 
Are the go-karts going yet? Oh, um... It does work. Except that I need to run this command again. There we go, now they're gaining speed. And they will be going fast. Very fast, 300 kilometers per hour. What's the next speed we're going to see when we will see a speed again? Still arriving at stations. 500 almost. I think we're going to need more laps. Let's go to the max. We're going to go very fast. 600. Well, we'll check back here later. This is going to take a while. Oh, uh, <laughs> I do need an entrance path here. <laughs> Otherwise, no one's gonna take it. Oh, no one can leave. Um, I'm going to disable that for a bit. I'm going to make them leave. Because I kind of want to get rid of all this bunched up bit of guests. That's better. Ooh, this graph is going to be fun. <laughs> Everyone flocks for it. Interesting, they're only taking the path on the left. Huh. Now that's a nice quirk of how the game works. That's pretty cool. Just a little little bit of overcrowding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a lag spike. This path is disgusting and it's too crowded here. I want to go home. The litter is bad. I've been queuing for ages. And this path is really clean and tidy. No, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. There are still no guests on this. <laughs> it's going to take forever. <laughs> All right, how fast are we going? Um, I think we've gotten stuck somehow. What? How did we? Huh? It just froze in time. Well, I'll just keep it there, I suppose. <laughs> this is probably going to happen again. <laughs> so fast it's going to be zero. I, I, I might restart it later, but for now I'm going to keep it. It is free, yes. The monorail is free. Overflow error, yes. Yeah, something like that. Or, I don't know. It's weird. Alright, I have a fun idea for a ride. But for that, I need to actually have it available. Um, object selection. I want this. Could you build a boat ride where the boat can't reach the exit? Of course. Of course I can. I'll do that in a minute. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is gonna make it. I need more space. There we go. This is a fairly normal queue line. This is going to be a little bit of a maze. There we go. Alright, I don't like rain. Let's make it sunny again. 
Alright, we're gonna launch this as well. Has any of these cars already gone? How many are on this? 21. And we have a capacity of 50. Well, let's just make it go then. Imagine if you could actually eject riders from their seats from sheer negative Gs. <laughs> well, with any well-constructed ride, the bodies of the riders should give way before the seats, the restraints of the seats do. Yeah, like Yakers just said. Alright, let's see what happens when the train gets here and the guests get off. Will they get stuck outside the park? Oh. <laughs> oh. They're actually just landing on there. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> They're not going into the fight. <laughs> this is amazing. Alright, I'm going to force any weather. Screw that. Exit the monorail, enter the void. Enter the void, empty, and become wind. All these guests are little Zahirs. Oh, are there more guests on this? Will they join them? Eventually there'll be a huge build up of guests here. If this thing is popular enough. But no guests on that. It's not a very popular ride. And it's also not very easily accessible. Alright. Do you guys have any more interesting ideas for cursed rides? Alright, the boat hire, of course. Um, I'll do the boat hire. And I'll also do this um <laughs> we're just gonna put this to zero <laughs> number of swings zero <laughs> can you do the pirate ship to full rotation i don't think so but let's see what mode does this have this has swing mode now, see, it's both called swing mode. So it's the same mode, but when it's on different rides, it does different things. So no, that doesn't work. What we can do is try something like this. Um, let's do intense mode. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Now that's intense. <laughs> that's a rocket car. Ah, oh, and it's back. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, whoops, wrong button. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> I don't think I even have the rocket cars. No, I yeah, I do have the mini coaster. Do I have the rocket cars? I do. Ferris wheel pirate ship. Hmm, what what happens if I make it go in Ferris wheel mode? I wonder. It probably won't do, you know, actual Ferris wheel stuff. But Forward rotation. Let's see what happens. We might get interesting results. Who knows? Ah, uh, seems to do the same. Although... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. That's definitely different. 
<laughs> it's definitely going through different sprites. Some weird warped guest sprites. That's quite cursed. <laughs> what are those even? <laughs> let, 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 let's continue. Let's try some more. We can't place it anywhere here because then we don't have space. There we go. Now we have space. Um, let's try some more interesting stuff. Let's try single ride per admission. Uh, okay. It's just... This is odd. <laughs> I like this. This is properly cursed. Let's make it have a bit of a different color. Let's make it stand out. There we go. <laughs> this thing is just going ding, ding, back. That's what you get with zero swings. <laughs> I like this. It's just it's standing still. What about multiple? Rides per mission. What, what do we get then? I'm loving this zoom level, by the way. No, oh, it's the same. Alright, let's try something else. Let's try... Space Rings mode. What does that do? Ooh, it still goes through some different sprites. It's always the rocket car, but... Some different ones. Like I'm seeing a barrel. And I think. At the start I saw a launched freefall card. Oh there's the guests again. Oh well. Let's just open this. Alright. Let's do. The. Um, what's it called? Boat hire. Yeah, one of those rotating rides. Someone said Virginia Real, which it might be as well. Okay, I don't want to just do a boat hire. I want to do a boat hire on land. So... What happens if... New idea. Adventure mode. Create a lineup of rides getting progressively more intense. Um, the catch is that they can't leave the adventure mode until they pass all of them. Someone's done that before. And posted on Reddit. And it was quite a success. Um, so yeah, I might do that. Okay, trust me, this is eventually going to be on land. Alright, just clearance checks doesn't work. I don't think I can even re raise this. No, boat higher in the way. And that with clearance checks. So what I need to do... Well, let's just see what happens. Let's see if they can even go on land. Alright. Oh, nice and zoomed in. Oh, that's not what we want. Well, at least they're stuck now. You know what? If we if if we keep this, they'll all get stuck here, which is good enough for me. I like that. Hmm. 
beating Forest Frontiers with its only boat hires. That's not difficult. It's just annoying. <laughs> this still isn't done. Damn. Alright, let's try to fix the go-kart. What happens if we do it again, but this time we properly reduce it to one car per train? I don't think we'll reach as high speeds, but it might at least complete. Okay, now I can open it, then I need to pause it. Swap those around again. And I can unpause it. And I need to not forget this command. Is it possible to turn a vehicle on the launched freefall into a haunted house? I don't think so. But we can try. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we can do. No, we can only do launch free for... Oh, wait. I don't have to cheat on. Um, no, we can't do a haunted house. We can do whatever this is going to do. Uh, now... <laughs> It works. I just sent you the track file of a very cursed maze on Discord. Alright, let me see. I'll download it. I'll put it in my tracks folder. While you guys can enjoy the cursed freefall in open mode without... A queue line. Uh, documents. Open RST2. And then... Where is it? Track. Alrighty. And we're back. I've read an old post. Um, you did... About having 600 plus excitement on a hard climb coaster. Okay, so that's no longer possible. Because that glitch has been fixed. Even in later versions of Vanilla... Before open RST2 even was a thing. Okay, needs clearance checks. Enabled or disabled? Do you mean disable clearance checks enabled? Ha, huh, it's not here at the moment. Um. Let me reload the park. Let's see if I get it then. Might need to restart the game as well. Um, let's see. What shall I call this? Stream 13, 12, 20. Let's reload it. That was easy. Nope. Still not there. Alright, let's then quickly restart the game, because I do want to see it. I'll be back momentarily. There we are, we're back. Sadly, now I don't have cheats anymore. Well, I do have them, but... Whoa, 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 what's this? Oh, it's that maze! I remember seeing that. How? Oh. Hang on, let me find a good spot for this. I think I need to build it like here. Ah, yes. A recreation of my maze a couple of streams ago. But twice as big and made of path. 
Hang on, I'm gonna need something for this. I'm going to need... <laughs> Look at them. Look at them all stuck. Okay, what I'm going to need is cheats. Uh, actually, I'm not going to need cheats right now. Uh, let's put this back where it belongs for 20. Let's do that. Let's do that. What I'm going to need is this. Because... I need invisible path. There's invisible path, right? Invisible. There we go. Because now I can make a proper queue line. Sort of. Look at those sprites. And now I can actually connect it and have guests go into it. And I can also do this. Now it's a proper maze. They can't get out of it. Alright, I'll build actual path as an exit path here. But I will build the invisible path here. That swinging ship, yeah. They're all amazing, I know. So, um, this works now. This is amazing. Thank you very much, Max Arceus. Um, right, I had something in mind. Oh, I should actually also check, how's this thing doing? Is it stuck again? No, it's just going very fast. I wonder how fast it's going. I think it's at the max speed by now. Well, let's focus on something else while we uh, wait until we finally see some speed. Instead of just arriving at station. Thank you very much. Awesome, Austin. You are awesome. Oh, 502 kilometers per hour. See? That's why I wanted the trains. This just got stuck at a measly 500 kilometers an hour. Well, let's wait until it's finished. So we do get some test results. God, these parts are ugly. Where are all the guests? It doesn't look like... We have 1,100 guests in the park to meet. Although, a quarter is in this queue line. Did you reactivate the mass command? What do you mean? I, I did not do this. I can, though. You should make a zoo section with guests in cages. Ooh, I definitely should. Okay, let me think about this. Um, check the monorail exit. Oh. That's where all the guests are. I forgot. <laughs> you guys are right. <laughs> Okay, now let me move the exit. What happens if I do this? If I use the tile inspector to move it. Okay, that doesn't work. What if I use the tile inspector to move these around as well? Uh, you're going to go there, then I'm going to delete you. Copy you, paste you there. Delete you. Oh, wait, that doesn't. 
matter. Okay, this is very cursed now because this is a station exit piece. Which is in the middle of the station now. Which means there's extra... <laughs> this doesn't look right. Oh, the mass 99 for the go-karts. Is that the issue? Is that... Right... I did not know those got reset. Is anyone else's stream stuttering and has big gasps of no audio and sometimes no video? Well, I'm not listening to my own audio, but I do get video constantly, so that's definitely yours. Let's see how many guests are in the maze, the giant maze. That's not bad. Can you take a track piece and move it and still connect to the rest of the track? No, it doesn't work like that. If I... Whoops. Um, if I do this, I'll use the tile inspector and for example... Yeah, that happens. So, let's reset crash status. That is not an actual maze. It's just footpaths and scenery. But it does look, look like it. The maze exit needs no entry signs too, you're right. Totally forgot about that. I wonder how many admissions do we have so far? 7,000, but most guests are dead. A lot have drowned. What a nice graph. Okay, there are too many guests here. Would there... I wonder, there should be a way to get them out of here. What happens if I do this? I need sandbox mode on. Um, not disable clearance checks. Because that can mess things up. What if I just do this? I just build a path towards it. Uh, oops, wrong one. Oh, they can't go into it. Okay, what happens if I close the right? Still nothing. Hmm. Well, they're stuck there forever. But I don't want more guests there because that will eventually give a lot of lag. Um, I could of course remove them with the remove guests command, but no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, there's some, there, there's another interesting thing that we can do. We can use the launched freefall. Yes, this is going to be fun. Actually, there's already a video of me doing very similar things on my second channel, I believe. But it's still going to be fun. Don't forget the zoo. Oh right, I was working on that. Let's continue that first. This was the start of the zoo. This this is a raised walkway so that guests can actually watch the animals in the zoo from above. Yes. Okay. You, you. Zoo. We'll make you yellow. Zoo will make you yellow as well. And then we'll use the invisible path. Now the question is, do I remember? <laughs> I don't remember where I dropped the invisible path. Alright, let's get rid of the path here. And we'll make it invisible another way.
Alright. You are going to go there. You are going to go there. You are going to go there. Oh, I have a fun idea. Yes, this is a great idea. Um, for the zoo. I am going to make Jesus. And I'm not kidding. Alright, let's make all these invisible. There we go. Here we have our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's walking on water. Alright, let's now put fences around it. Otherwise, it's not a proper zoo. You could have handymen, but they're all set to only mow grass. I'm not going to build a lot of those, because that will take forever to do. And there we go, a nice little zoo. Can you also make one walk on sunshine? No, but what I can do, actually, um, all right, let's do, how do I get it there? Yeah, whoops, that was the wrong button. I want to get it down there, but I don't know. All right, I need to do this and then. I don't think this can fly. Oh, the footpath is in the way. Oh, of course. It's the clearance checks that's the issue. And then now I can just do that. I want to make it on the same level. Dead. Yes. This one is walking on fire. <laughs> Which is pretty much the opposite of Jesus. So I'm going to call him. Um, Cirque. Suzedge. Which is Jesus Christ backwards. Oh, I could also do Lucifer. That's actually better. Make one walk inside an ice cube. Now that's easy. Well, ah, but that won't work. He'll just... Kind of... Glitch out of it. Eh, good enough. Is this the budget version of Avatar The Last Airbender? <laughs> this is still better than the movie they made. The live action movie. Because that thing was so terrible. It was absolutely awful. Alright, let's change this to a Twister Coaster now. And let's continue building. There we go. And now we're going to change to uh, a Mini Golf. Oh, too high for support. Well, screw you. And let's do a hardline coaster. We're going to make this the most cursed launched freefall ever. 
No, 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 not a hard iron roll. A transfer. And back to a twister coaster. Where is it? There it is. Let's go up. Even further. And let's do a loop. It's gonna be amazing. Alright, what can we do now? What are some more interesting things? Let's add a twist. I don't know if, if, if it will do anything interesting on this, but we can try. Alright, let's now change it to a lift. And let's build a station. And let's go to a rotor drop and back to... Um, we need one more word called Twister Coaster. And now we're going to back to Mini Golf. This will be a mess of a ride. But it'll be fun. These supports won't be here for long. They'll go away. What's interesting is that when you get when you turn a free fall into a ride like this, you get really odd color schemes that work fine for a free fall, but definitely not for a mini golf. Use a photo section. I'll do that. That's could be interesting. All right. And then we'll go up. We're going to need to go very far up because we will need to go back. I hope the transfer doesn't kill the speed. Yeah, so do I. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's see. Um, oh, right. We need to do this. Oh, and we also need to do this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to launch it a little bit faster than that. Uh, it just disappeared. It's still going. Uh, and it just crashed. <laughs> okay. This, uh... This is not going to work. I need to make it a little less crazy. But still crazy. I need to I involve less, you know, pieces like that. Like, I think the barrel roll made it crash. What we can do, though, is teleport and do other fun things. Or was it the mini gold that made it crash? Let's see, does a mini golf make it crash? Um, does a golf make it crash or teleport? If we go back to a launched free fall. Launch it at a bit of a normal speed. Did it just. Okay, it did teleport. Good. Is there a way to mess with the cinema to make a movie last forever? Good question. Um, I don't think there is. But you never know. Okay, let's do some teleporting shenanigans. Now we'll go back. I need to avoid things like stations and other 
complicated stuff. Like by messing with the console. Yeah, maybe something like that could work. But I'm not an expert in that. Uh, oops, want one more bit of turn. Alright, now let's go up again. And now launch three fall vertical tower. Then twister coaster we can do this. I remember a while ago, like a year, two years ago, when I built this, the vertical track piece on a on a like a standard vertical track piece like I'm building now on the twister coaster. And um this thing, a vertical tower, were the same. If I switched, I would not have to switch here. I would just it would just turn into that. Which is interesting that it's not that anymore. So that's pretty cool. Alright, last thing. Let's see what happens. Does it even make it? Not far enough. But it does work. I like that. Monorail 1 still hasn't been fixed. I suppose this exit is the culprit. <laughs> Which, uh... Oh, these guests are still getting stuck forever. Um, let me fix that. There we go. That works. Oh, can I free these guests as well? Yes! I actually freed them. <laughs> that works. They're ex oh, they still can't leave. <laughs> well, I gave them the prospects of leaving, but they can't quite leave. That's interesting. What happens if I do this? If I follow the path, so they can't... Haha. -ha. <laughs> They can only, they can taste it, but they can't cross it. Ha ha ha. Place a stall outside the park. Let's see if they can do anything with it. <laughs> let's see if, uh, let's see if they'll go to the toilet. It does connect. Alright, let's make it free. Let's see if they go in it. Yes, they can actually use it. Cool. Broken toilet because... Let's see. Too many Mareeps suggested that. Oh, now they're all stuck between here. Well, not stuck, but they're choosing to not go any further. Okay, this is quite a mess now. <laughs> I like it, though. Okay, this is broken down because the mechanic cannot reach this. Um, which one? Responding to monorail. What if I just drop you here? That should work. What about before the entrance? Let's see. Um, 
going to remove that. Then I'm going to make this orange. And if we have any orange balloons, we'll know that they'll have bought it from here. Let's make another one. Oh, the exit is out of the park. Right, yes. Um, let me fix that. There we go. If you have a queue line, queue line outside of the owned park, they're gonna bounce. What do you mean with bounce? I can give it... I can try what happens. If I do this. There we go. Alright, this ride is going to get fixed now. While we wait for this, I am going to fill up my water bottle so I can drink some water. I forgot to do that before the stream. Luckily, the cable for my headset is long enough that I can just keep it on my head while I, while I walk to my kitchen. Which, to be honest, is not that much of an accomplishment. My kitchen is less than 3 meters away from my computer. Because I live in a tiny room. Although tiny, you know, compared to the center of uh, the city, it's not tiny. And for the price I pay, it's certainly not tiny. But it's still just a single room. Alright, that's been fixed. And this will never work, which makes it cursed. Speaking about my kitchen. Yesterday I was doing the washing up. And suddenly my f my tap broke. It, it just broke off. And water was spilling out of, you know, the end that was still there. <laughs> because I was having the tap running. Which sucked. Um, I, I, I turned it off quickly. It was, you know, not a lot of water. But luckily it did not actually break. It turns out that just, um, it turns out that you can just screw the tab off and over the past couple of years of me using it and moving it to the left and to the right, I somehow unscrewed it and it came off that way. I just screwed it back on and everything's fine again, but it's still weird. Alright, let's recreate a Giga Coaster that um, we've built before. Um, which was very cursed. Oh, that's an interesting mechanic, the bouncing back and forth. Let's see if we can actually see it happening. Ever since I learned about using boosters for gigas, I haven't used the lift hills for them at all. Oh yeah, they're at least stopping. They're not exactly always bouncing back, but they're at least stopping. Alright. Let's make something cursed. Brakes. Some of you might remember this. And brakes. And brakes. Wait, I forgot one set of brakes. 
There we go. More breaks. Max Arceus, you might remember this. Because you were the one who requested me to build this in the first place. It was, I believe, during my 12 hour stream, which I did, I think it's over a year ago now. Yeah. We'll just go down at six kilometers per hour. And it looks like we're close to the ground here, but no, we are not. It's gonna take quite a while to get back down. The nauseator. I don't think you're gonna get very nauseous from this, except if you have a fear of heights. Because you're going to be at six kilometers per hour. Oh, hey, Roy the Dragon. Welcome to the stream. Don't forget to make it pink and candy theme. I was not going to forget. Um, and yes, the looping coaster does stop eventually. But it can take a while. It's set to do 255 laps. I think. No, actually only 20. But due to some glitches, because of the very high speed, it will do a lot more. Alright, we're coming back down nicely. We're past halfway. Can you make an arc of merry-go-rounds at the entrance? Now that's proper shitposting. I like that. I'll do that in a minute. Uh, whoops, forgot the brakes there. Or in a minute, you know, after I finished building this thing. Oh, thank you very much, Hefferson, 89. Since zero clearance is on, we might be going through something. No, the launch free fall is not here. We're too much away from it. So no, we're not going through it, but we could go through it. Can I see the stats on that launched free fall? Sure. It's 2.41, 11.06 and 6.18. Which is... Mm, yeah, normal stats for one that's launched a bit too fast. Nothing special. <laughs> First time on this stream and I'm simply amazed at the massive fuckery that's going on. <laughs> well, this stream is about making the most fuckery park possible. So that's fitting. And uh, also welcome to the stream. Lucifer doesn't seem to be happy. <laughs> well, that's not my fault. Oh, I suppose it is, but he could just be happier. Be depressed, Lucifer. Just be happier. That's the solution. What's that thing about the arc merry-go-round? Well, I don't know if I've interpreted it like whoever posted it wanted me to interpret it. Um, who said that actually? Let me scroll up. Chilling with you said that. I don't know if I'm interpreted the way that chilling with you meant it, but I'm interpreting it in a way that's very funny. So, you'll just have to wait. Okay, yeah, no, I am interpreting it in the correct way. After that explanation. Alright. Alright. 
Let's actually turn zero clearance checks off. Oh, we were already underground. Oh, I do not want to go outside the park. <laughs> now that's a cue. Yeah. I'm also going to turn off sandbox mode. This is a queue line. There we go, almost there. Amazing. We don't really have a lot of guests in the park. Well, we do, but a lot of them are stuck in various places. Um, I've messed up the queue line a bit. There we go. Think... Oh, I've messed it up still. Yeah, now it's uh, nice. <laughs> no path leading from its exit. What do you mean there is a path here? Alright, candy style. Oh yeah, that's my jam. We're gonna make it pink, baby. That's better. Yes, the Ferris wheel is done testing. It has two guests in it. Which are the first two! Wait a minute, you're not gonna tell me that it's gonna have to go 255 laps with just those two. That's gonna take a long time. Can we test the ride and watch it? I don't want to wait two years. Sure, it's uh, it's here. <laughs> and it's going at this speed. Oh, hey, there, this is the second train already. Sadly, there are no speakers in the cars. Because imagine listening to this while you're going down this very, very slowly. <laughs> the stats will be absolutely terrible. From left to right, to left to right. <laughs> If you have a headphone or any kind of stereo sound system, you will have noticed that. Oh, I don't think Jesus is very happy. Oh well. Mega long trains, yes, let's do that. Uh, that's the wrong button, that's the right one. Alright, where shall we do mega long train? Oh, I have an idea. This is going to be nice. Give Jesus a hot dog stand. <laughs> now that's a sentence that no one's ever said before. Alright, we're going to need a long station for this. Station platform too long. Ah, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's see what happens. I'll just build this backwards even more. Alright. Um, let's change this to the floorless coaster. Oh, we need another cheat for this. There we go. And back to one train. Is that too long? Yes, sadly that's too long. We don't have the space for that. So it's gonna be slightly shorter. It's 207. Doesn't fit. 171. Still doesn't fit. 119. 
Oh, that's better. We can do probably about 131. Yes. Oh, is this going to... <laughs> it's raining cars. <laughs> Oh, quite a few are still up there. Oh, I remember that Max and Arceus. Yes, I can do that. <laughs> They're all slowly getting up there and crashing. <laughs> and I have two more ideas for cursed rides. One is one that I've built before and one is th that I remember seeing on Reddit. Okay, so this needs to be slightly smaller because we were almost there. 125. It was almost slowed down before it crashed. Ooh, it's just going too fast. 118. Lol, the go-karts. <laughs> Perfect. Go-karts top speed of 502 kilometers per hour. <laughs> it sounds like a fart. <laughs> I know, right? If I time it right, I can fart on stream without you guys ever noticing. <laughs> um. Oh, this is going backwards now. Let's build actually an entrance here. Um, let's see. The one that Max Arcee has wanted. Yes, we're going to do that. But before I'm going to do that... This is gonna be a few guests. Uh, I might have introduced some lag. It's a lot of money though. Doing this 50k. <laughs> hey, there are two more guests on it. Nice. Alright, they'll spread out eventually. Um, right, yes, let's build. I'm going to do something different now. I'm going to build a normal coaster. Actually, I'm going to build a normal wooden coaster. With a slight twist, of course. Uh, <laughs> looks like I'm in jail. With all these bars. Okay, let's do the slight twist. It's going to be a normal station. Then a chain lift. Then another station. And then we'll build the rest of the coaster. You see... There are coasters, um, probably in real life, but I've definitely seen it done before in this game. Where people put an exit on the top, sorry, an entrance on the top and an exit at the bottom. So that guests don't have to go on the slow queue line. Which means that the coaster is more exciting. 
because you don't have the queue line. And that's especially a thing if you have rides with a very slow chain lift like um, river rapids or a splash boat. However, as Max Arceus just suggested, you can do that the other way around. This ride, guests will get on the ride at the bottom, get off the ride at the top, and then the station, the train will take the fun route back to the bottom station. Which is going to be interesting. And cruel. Alright, I think this is enough. You now that was just me building a coaster randomly, basically. An exit here. And, and now an entrance there and an exit there. Don't forget the photo section. Oh, I should make that actually. Yes. We have the best coaster in the park and you can't ride it. That's right. Um, let's, let's actually make the photo section be on an actual interesting bit. So if I do this... Now I have space here for a photo section. Oh, that's not right. Wait, what did I just do? That's better. Wait, didn't I disable that cheat? That's much better. Oh, we can do a... Fu no, let's do an extra slow chain lift of one kilometer per hour. Ha <laughs> 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 Let's make it leave if another train arrives at the station so we don't have this stuff going on. This is at zero kilometers an hour. <laughs> this is amazing. I think this is just about as slow as a ride goes backwards at the slowest speed when I build the longest coaster. I think this is the same speed. Well, this is gonna... <laughs> we're not even halfway yet. <laughs> this is gonna take a long time. <laughs> That's amazing. Even if I speed up, I mean, it's not going very smoothly because a lot of guests and open our studio is laggy. But even then, we get a lot of lag. <laughs> or it's not going very fast. <laughs> That's amazing. Also, what I love about this park and this. Ooh, guests going on. <laughs> <laughs> How many guests are in there? Is it a thousand? 370. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go all the way, all the way past there. <laughs> Not a single guest has reached the entrance yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
just hasn't gotten any guests yet. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, there are a lot of guests here. Um, let's free them. Because they're taking up some guest space. And I don't think that's very useful right now. There we go. Oh, that would actually work. Yes. More people would come in if I freeze this at 999. That influences the guest spawn rate by quite... Oh! <laughs> That just made me pass the goal. <laughs> An unintended side effect. <laughs> but a welcome one. So what I was going to say is what I like about this park is the constant stream of guests drowning multiple per day they just keep going on the maze it's just constant 1170 so far yeah they're drowning from this let me actually max this out at 999. <laughs> this is the first ride after the merry-go-round that I built. Also a lot of puke here because I don't have handyman. Apart from now... This guy. And you are stuck here. Because you're not even allowed to mow the grass. You can do... You are not allowed to do anything. But your mate... Will be allowed to mow the grass. Did Marcel end up drowning? Good question. Is he still alive? Oh god, this screen is laggy as hell. Um, well, if he is, he's not on the first page. I do not think Marcel the 11th. We do have three Marcelas, but Marcel the 11th is no longer under us. We forgot to make a merry arch of go rounds. Right, yes. This still hasn't finished. I'll make a merry arch of go rounds. Because I do like that idea. Um, I'm gonna need zero clearance for that. Now you know what. Let's remove this path. Alright, you are going to have no entrance. So are you. Make a little sand island in the lake with a single palm tree and a guest on it. And make a castaway themed transport ride. I could, but first I'm going to do this. Alright, and then you can go here. And then you, of course, also get no entrance. And so do you. You need a bit more space. Oh, no, I don't. This will fit perfectly. 
It's going to be a tall one, but that's fine. And you there. No, that's one too high. That's more like it. I need a couple more. Won't they be open? They will be. Guests will not be able to reach them, but they will be open. Wait, this is not right. It does need to be here. Right? Oh wait, no, this is right. Yeah, you know, this, this looks nice actually. Um, no, you can't make them play different music because merry go can't play different music. Um, now, I'll remove the supports in a bit. Okay, first, this one needs to be the same colors as the other one, and so does this. Needs to be this and this, and this, and this. Now, let's just open everything. Oh god, the cacophony of sound. It's terrible. <laughs> I'll move away from this in a bit. <laughs> Looks cool though. Yes, 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 yes. What if they all had the breakdown thing? RP, yes. I'm pausing the game because I want them to all have it at the same time. Control failure. Control failure. All of them control failure. Yes. I'm so happy this is a thing in OpenRST2. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Let's go. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> there they go <laughs> oh thank you very much RP for the bits ever all right let's move away from it because of the music but that's the best damn thing ever <laughs> I love it <laughs> oh thank you very much uh, Max RCS I sent something in Discord. Let's have a look. Air powered vertical coaster one. Um, you said it was cursed, right? 
Well, I'll have a look. Um, open RST2. Track. Pasted it in. <laughs> oh, let's, before we open that, let's look at the stats of this. Oh, they're actually good. 6.67 excitement, 4.71 intensity, and 3.16 nausea. And a ride length of just under a mile. I expected it to be to have at least one right penalty. But apparently not. What are the stats of this? Huh. Also good. 4.92 excitement. That might be because a car ride has no <laughs> G-Force ratings. All the guests are walking back. They're not getting on. Is... Did I go outside the park? No, I did not. Well, I don't care. The guests already get bored of the long queue line before they reach the entrance. That's possibly it. Right. I saved the park. And I'm gonna restart the game. So I can get the... Ride that Roy sent me. Luckily, the game restarts quite quickly. Um... Oh my god. That thing is huge. <laughs> I'll build it on the other side because that's not a site I'm looking from often. So it won't be in the way as much. Right on top of the handyman. Alright, let's build path and stuff. Oh, I also need to enable all those cheats. That's the downside. I believe there's a plugin for this. I should download the plugin that keeps the cheats. Um, disable weather changes. Operating modes, operating limits. Uh, you and you. Alright, little bit of path. <laughs> Listen to the sound. That's pretty cool sound that they're making. So much from it. Yeah, it's not getting cleaned up. The only two handymen that we have are frolicking in the grass. <laughs> and the go-kart comes past again. <laughs> I've also sent another interesting ride. Going to have to keep restarting the game. Luckily, it's very quick. Wait, is he going to find the path? No, you're not. Alright, let's see what happens. Jesus Christ. Wait, oh, it starts from the bottom. Oh, and then it goes down like that. Oh, I see. And this is gonna take a while. A long while. Although not as long as some other coasters that I've built. Now, this is pretty damn cool.
Well, we'll check back on that later. Are these still going? Yes, they are. <laughs> the stats are insane for it, especially the air time. I suppose it would be, yeah. Looks like fun <laughs> for the first few arches. I would definitely go on this ride. If only just to be able to say I've experienced it. Uh. Whee! Wait a minute, we can do better. There we go. Oh, now we can't go any higher at all. We've made a slight mistake here. Oh, wait, no, there's one behind it. So, now we have a scenery tower. Alright, what are these stats? 49 seconds of air time. Damn. I thought the air powered coaster doesn't get excitement from air time. It should not know. It does get more than a full point of nausea from this though. 10.28 intensity, 7.59 excitement and 8.97 nausea. That's actually not bad for a ride like this with 34 drops. So four kilometers long. It's three minutes of going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. All right, let's make a twister coaster. And this one will break the sound barrier. Wait. All oh right, I built that entrance here. Ooh, it's actually doing more interesting stuff now. Oh, I can't get a good view on it. But, uh... You know, if I just do this, get away view. There we go. This is, uh... Interesting. <laughs> How did I do this? I put a swinging ship mode in, in forward rotation mode. Instead of swing mode. I also made this one freeze here by putting it in single ride per admission mode. <laughs> this one is also glitching through slightly different sprites. Oh, the queue line, <laughs> the queue line has faded. Let's fix that. There we go. Queue line's back. Not exactly a sprite randomizer. I think it's just. Going through some sprites. Um, right. I wanted to build a thing. It's not that big. So let's build it here. And we only need a single station tile. This actually won't be a full coaster. Now to think about it. This won't be a coaster that people can go on to. It's just going to be something that will be there. It'll go on forever because it will be a loop. Um, launch lift hill. Of course. Then. We're going to. Get the tile inspector, copy paste, turn it around, and start building. Um, disable clearance checks. Do I for supports? Screw you. Hmm. 
Now let's hope. Yes, nine meters. Perfect. Okay, now we need to make this. Um, Huh, what if we do... I haven't thought of that yet. You guys don't know what I'm thinking of, but... We'll see. We're, we're, we're gonna try some things. Um, What's a long coaster train? I suppose the corkscrew is fairly long. Alright, let's make that 255. And then just a single train. Track is not complete. Alright, we're going into boat mode. Now it works. Will it even test? Still moving to the end of the station. I might need two pieces. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, it's not... Okay, I might need to launch it, actually. So that it reaches that bit. And I also... Well, let's first do that. Let's first see if it... Yes. No, I have not opened the right yet. Okay, this will get up to speed. It'll go quite fast. As you can see. But we can do better. Alright, this is right ID 44. Set mass. 44 nine, 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 nine. It was already quite heavy, so this might not be do very much. And it'll keep speeding up. It's going almost a thousand kilometers per hour now. Quite fast, yeah, I'd say that. This should reach about 1500 kilometers per hour at the top speed. Let's see. 1100. And 1200. It's quite laggy. I'll give you that. 1300. It's still gaining speed, albeit slowly. You know what, let's just leave this alone for a bit. Alright, we already knew those stats. <laughs> I'm just going to do this forever. The thing is, what I was thinking about, I've used the floorless coaster trains for this before. And if you put... 255 cars in just a short train like that because this thing is 255 cars which means that it's very short but very heavy um, that means that it will get up to a lot of speed but since these trains are longer I thought they might have more contact with the launched lift hill because the floorless cars are very short as you can see right here um, so it might gain more speed. That was my idea. But I'm not sure. If that actually has an effect. Right now it's going very fast. <laughs> what are the stats on this? Not bad. About 5, 7, 6. And that's a high capacity. Although it does take 1 minute 40, which is mostly because of this. 
going backwards. <laughs> this thing will just go on forever. Okay, I think it might have reached its max speed. 1370 and a bit. Which is fast enough. Why is this a ghost? That's weird. Needs more music. There you have your music. Okay, now we're going to trap some guests. On a good old... Perpetual motion coaster. And yes, it took me that long to think of the right words. Which is quite simple. It's going to do this. Do that. Do that. Do that. Or the other way around. I forgot actually. Um, well, we'll see if this works. Track is not complete. Well, then I'll just go into power launch mode. Oh god. 30 trains. No, 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 no. Alright, does it gain or lose speed? That's the question. It gains speed. I've built it correctly. Okay, now we need to cancel that. Wait for full load and open it. So, that it will be there with a full load of guests. You wanted to see it with 30 trains, but that just, it'll just glitch out and eventually it'll crash. Won't be that interesting. But I can do that for you. Not this ride though. If we just take a simple ride... For example, this one, and if we put this one next to it, which won't work because there's no space for it, and it's also higher because it's going underground actually, um, so this whole thing won't work. You know what? Let's remove this and build a ride in a more accessible place. Let's build the Bumblebee. Wait. What do you mean is in the way? There's nothing here. Oh, I know. Open Roller Coaster Tycoon. Messed with the clearance for the loopings. So now without zero clearance I can't build this. Wait, that's that's terrible. Why did they do that? That's immensely stupid. It's a pre-build that comes with the game. I knew that they had changed it. I already knew that. But I thought that it... Would be just some like glitchy behavior. I've seen glitchy looking interlocking loops, which I w I was fine with. But they like now I can build it because I disable clearing checks, and that was also why it didn't show up here in the preview, which I was confused by. Atomizer has the same issue. That's a corkscrew, right? No, what kind of coaster is that? Uh. Oh, there we go. What's the atomizer? Oh, right.
right, yeah. It's going through, well, not through the looping. It must be some, it must be like a half looping thing or whatever. At least, it's stupid. There have been a couple of changes before that I didn't entirely agree with. Um, that the Open RST2 development made. But there were always changes that I could at least understand. And that didn't break the game. And so it was like, well, you know, opinions differ. But this is just dumb. Um, I don't really remember. Oh yeah, right. Now there was one really recent one where they removed the button for exploding guests. Um, because they think it's better as a plugin. I don't really like that because I like just having the button here, but I think that's fair. But the problem here is that you just can't build the pre-builds anymore because they fucked with the clearance checks of the loops. Anyway, let's do what I built this coaster for. Disable vehicle limits. And let's make... Do this. Wait. Oh, it's in block section mode. Let's do it in normal mode. There we go. Ah, uh, that's what you wanted. Well, there is an explode plugin, but then you need to get the plugin, which is another extra step, especially for newer players, which won't have a fun option to explode. You know, it's a fun cheat. Swarm of the bumblebee, all right. I believe that eventually it'll crash. The trains are all going through each other. Well, let's open it and let's see how long it holds up. Dorfe 1 entered the park. Welcome. Yes, that's a lot of trimmed grass, sadly. Ooh, wait a minute. Wasn't there... Oh, oh, there he is. And it's indeed exploded. See, that's what would happen. You just can't avoid it. Sadly. Look. Check out that noise. Ooh! Now that startled me. <laughs> right as I zoomed in. You know what? I think this counts as cursed. Let's look if this thing is going even faster. Nope, it's still at the top speed. Okay, I have another nice idea for a ride, which actually is somewhat nice. Okay, guests are not going into this. Hang on. I need to spawn guests. Um... This idea for a ride will actually not kill my guests. Or harm them in, them in any way. The ride will not explode. It will not produce many G's. Oh. Right. But it will be fun. I've seen this on Reddit. And let's see if I can make it too. Because it does require some fine tuning. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, let's remove this stupid tower. Because it's in the way. K 
Okay, now it's time for a quarter loop. Um, let's actually make this go the other way. Since then I can actually build a path. Why is the track white in the construction window? No idea, it's a bug. Uh, I don't think this is long enough yet. This might be long enough. Okay, let's do floorless. I'm not sure how long the train needs to be. Um, we need to launch it without pausing station. Let's try 90. Nope, 90 is much too fast. Well, about 57. That's too slow. You might be able to see what I'm trying to do. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, the train's not long enough. Uh, which means I also need to launch it slower. I want to get right on the edge. I've seen this on Reddit before and it got a lot of upvotes and it was a cool idea. Okay, the train needs to be even longer. So that I have more weight down at the bottom. And I need to launch even slower. Uh, there we go. Holy leg. And that's just from times two. Definitely need to go slower. Oh, thank you very much, Waffles. For the level three sub, or two months, I'm not sure how exactly all the subs work, but both are valid. <laughs> Safest park in the country, did I get that? Oh, best value park. It's close. Okay, one issue with this is as soon as guests get on this, they're screwed. Because it'll have more momentum. Although, if it's only a few guests, it won't be a lot more. Okay, one faster. And let's see what we get. While that's going, because it's not going very fast at the moment. Let me build a standard queue line. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Oh. I'll just remove one of these pieces. And launch it at 20. Alright, we can open it now. The queue line is not long enough to hold enough guests for a whole train. you think that constant debris would hit someone. Luckily, guests are immune from debris. Oh, I can actually remove two more pieces. And this is also way too long. But that's fine. I'm just bad at estimating stuff like that, I suppose. Alright, how close will this be? <laughs> 
Now that's nice and close. I wonder if it will crash with gas on it. Because it will probably only have like maybe 10 guests on it once it goes. Which add only a tiny amount of mass percentage wise. And it did still have the tiniest bit of track left over. So it might be fine with guests on it. Because it'll, it'll be never be a full train. But we'll see. Wait for full load. Now I'm I'm not doing that on purpose. All right, let's try some other interesting things that like interesting modes. Oh, these are still go. Oh, I think they're stuck. No, they're actually going. Oh, we have stats. Nice. It only takes... 21 seconds? It's only taking this bit into account? Huh? Look at this. Lateral G's. Zero point... G. Total airtime, zero point seconds. I think if it's zero, it might be bugged. I think this should be 0 0.00 in both cases, but that might be a bug in OpenRST2. I don't think it calculated a, not a number. Um, because I've done stuff like this before with zero lateral G's. And it's always been fine. Alright, let's try something interesting. Let's try normal mode. Okay, we do need guests for this though. Uh, because it is a space rings. So, get on it, please. Yes, 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 yes. Is the cheat on, actually? Yes, it is. Come on. Get on it. All right. Screw it. Oh, there we go. Wait, he's... Not actually going on it. Uh, <laughs> well, this doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, let's try a different mode. Oh, we also have 31 rings and... One... Ooh! <laughs> we now have just one ring. <laughs> Let's let's just remove a single ring because that's cursed. Let's try maze mode. What does that do? Well, they once again cannot go on it. What about 3D film mouse tails? <laughs> there he goes again. Ah! He can go on it now. Wait. Oh, he's in there. <laughs> he's just doing nothing. <laughs> he's just... Like he's being held up by chains. <laughs> just... Staring into the void. <laughs> I'll call this torture rack. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Watching some mouse still. Eventually they'll leave, I suppose. Because, you know, the movie doesn't last forever. Yeah, showing film. <laughs> just nothing. You're just gonna have to imagine it using your imagination. How's the perpetual motion machine doing? It is not going. There are seven customers on the right though. So eventually it'll go. What if I apply the same tactic? Let's just do that. Let's see how many guests will get on it. There's one. You know, what if I just do this? Max, max, minimum, 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 no, maximum. Now they're all happier and more energetic. You need to call this one the Passion of the Christ. Why? Um, I mean, sure, but I don't get it. What's the reference? Oh, the space rings. Well, now this one's called the Bastion of the Christ. Because this thing is already... Wait, no. This thing is already called Torture Rack. And it works fine. Oh, hey, Simon. Welcome to the stream. Um, let's try some other fucky things. And let's see what happens. Um, let's do bumper car mode. Oh, we have a time limit on this. Okay, what happens? Does anything happen? Nope, nothing happens. Is it possible to build a free fall or drop tower horizontally? Maybe somewhat. You could just you know build a coaster and put a free fall right in it. Um what else do we have? We have free fall drop mode. Let's see what happens. Oh, it just got stuck. Well, good enough for me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> That's because we have 31 cars. I forgot about that. Oh, that might be why nothing was happening. Let's try bumper car mode again. Let's see if that was what was happening. Okay, no, that just doesn't do anything. Okay, let's go intense mode. That should do some... Uh, well, there's some weird or is this no oh yeah there we go there's the weird stuff i was afraid it was going to do normal stuff only um i know berserk mode is from the top spin and i believe that intense is as well let's see yeah you got beginners intense and berserk all right what if we do Rotation mode on this. Does it do anything fun? Can't build food path there? Well, too bad. Oh, 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 okay then. <laughs> it's at least interesting. 
it's learned to turn 90 degrees. <laughs> and back again. <laughs> can I spam Mr. Bones around the park? I sure can. Uh, actually, I can't. Because I don't have it available. Let's see. Advanced. Big theming uh, skeleton. There we go. Oh, we can even color its hat. I'll keep it the normal color. I'll not spam it around the entire park because that's a bit too much. But I can spam it around here. Lol, they exit the top spin and get hit by the magic carpet. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Alright, for anyone who hasn't seen uh, this yet, we have a couple of interesting things. Like... <laughs> the broken merry-go-round arch. <laughs> oh hey, this thing is finally going. Alright, let's make it achieve some higher speeds, shall we? It's currently stuck at a max of 111. Uh, show Tom Inspector, this is right number 45. Now it should be able to reach higher speeds. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Nick Zackles, for the two month sub. Huh, it's not actually reaching a higher speed. Did I do the command correctly? Let's see. I think I did. Or do I not need this thing? Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, I've been using it incorrectly for a while now. So it's been having no effect. Um, okay, let's try using it on this. What was the right idea of this? 44. Uh, whoops, that's 454. And the go-karts, I believe, was 14. Let's do it on that as well. Or 15, one of the two. Let's do both. Even faster, yes. It's currently going almost 1400, yes. Let's see if the go-karts will go any faster. Well, it's currently arriving at the station. Let's test it and then we can just look at the test results later. Because I don't want to wait around for this, this will take forever. <laughs> um... The, the, the previous top speed was 502 kilometers per hour. Make the fastest ride possible. Well, I was about to do that with these go-karts, but uh, when I made trains, it suddenly stopped. I can try again, though. Um, I need to swap these around. And I need to do this, and then swap them around again. And now it'll go. Hopefully it doesn't stop. Oh, what I do need to do is, of course... Let's see, this is right ID 14. 
do this again. Alright, let's spawn some extra guests. Um, because I want some here. Let's take a look at some of the top thoughts in the park. Oh, I left no entry signs here. Oh, that might be a slight issue. There we go. <laughs> Good point. Okay. Whoa, 300 people are heading for the big reverse freefall coaster. No, wait. It's this thing. 300 people are heading for it. Whoa. Thought, it's too crowded here. Well, that was to be expected. The path is disgusting. I want to go home. I've been queuing for Ferris wheel 1 for ages. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, I'm tired. I've been queuing for the Passion of the Christ for ages. Yeah, the Passion of the Christ is not returning to the station anytime soon. How fast is it going? Okay, limit is 226. Which is a reasonable speed. Can we see the G's? No, we can't. Did someone drown? Yes, they did. Uh... I might have done this, which has drowned 1777 people. <laughs> um, what's the speed of this? Is it still gaining speed? Or is it at the top now? It's 1460. I think it's still slowly gaining speed. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay, how's the go-kart doing? It is doing fast. I don't know how fast though. Um, but let's hope that it doesn't stop. And I hope it's still accelerating. But I'm not sure. It's definitely fast anyway. But I don't know how fast. And I have done this, right? I think it's still increasing in speed. Oh, 1100 kilometers per hour. Yes, it's going very fast. Ah, oh, it's just stopped again. That's a shame. It just goes too fast and then something breaks. But I don't know what. Can I hear the Arch of Mergarounds? Sure. <laughs> it's only slightly cursed. I don't think that guests are buying balloons. Even normal ones. There are only five sold. Why are guests that unhappy that they're not buying balloons? What's up with that? Just five in three years. And this is the blue one. The regular blue one. The booty is almost at the top. Yeah, it's been at the top multiple times. The actual ride is quite fun. I can't show it from the other side because the big coaster is in the way. You 
You know, the funny thing is... Um, guests can still buy photos even though they will never go through it. It's only had two guests so far, but there are four in the waiting line. Which is amazing. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. Yeah, so will I. Okay, there was something that I had in mind that I wanted to do, but I've forgotten. Oh, right, now I remember, I remember. I am going to get the second ride that Max Arceus sent me and build it. Let's put it in my track folder. Alright, let's save the park. Let's quit the game. Let's restart it. And let's load up the save again. Alright, it was a spiral slide. Um... Wait, why do I not have it? Wait, was it a spiral slide? Oh, it's a heart line. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't have it available. Let's see. Oh god. Uh, I need to disable support limits. Oh god, that sound. That's so weird. Well, this sort of wait 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 a minute what i thought this was a normal ride but it's not okay what happens i was going to say destruction destructioxis request has been filled with this but this is not a normal hard line or is it? Oh, it actually is. It's just going back and forth. This is not... They're not going through this. So yes, this is a normal functioning hard line. Without any tricks. So yes, I have fulfilled your request uh, of building a normal hard line with this. Although, you know, normal... Normal is subjective. It's gonna be a fun ride. <laughs> Alright, I have an I have another idea. Let's Ooh, I just demolished the fountain. Is this sound annoying for you guys? Because <laughs> I imagine it might be. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, I'm going to do that, Max Arceus. Slightly different than what you're saying, but I, I, I know the effect you're after. I'm going to do that. All right, this is good enough. Let's make this jumping fountain hell. Although I suppose for some people this might be heaven.
Whatever. It's cursed anyway. So, looks like a nice place to get lost. Um, are you sure? You can never leave. I'm not so sure that would be so nice anymore. Oh. And another thing. Uh, now I need slightly different, right? Um... We're gonna do something fun here. You know, that perpetual motion machine coaster actually has a nice rhythm going on there. Oh no, your park rating. What are you talking about? I don't see a bad park rating. Not at all. Ah, this fits perfectly. Alright. This, of course, needs to be different. Um, uh, vehicles from other track types. Let's do... What are some kind of big... Trains. Let's do rafts. Oh wait, I can't. Yes, I can actually. How long do I need to make this? <laughs> I actually don't want this because this doesn't work exactly with what I want. Um... You know, let's just do looping coaster trains. I don't want long trains, I want short trains. Ten cars is enough. And then, of course, of course, launched mode. We're not going to go super fast, just 300 kilometers an hour. And we'll go. Wait, this is chain lift speed. Wait, I can't do multiple laps? Oh, that's because it's a wild mouse. Oh, right, I need to delete that anyway. Um, did you reach partner net yet? Not yet. I don't stream often, often enough to do that. Um, I need another cheat for this. That one. Um, if I go to, for example, a stand-up coaster, I can do multiple laps. And let's also make it slightly longer. 15 cars. Let's have it do this. Then this. Then this. Ah, oh, it's stopping. Okay, that doesn't work. Eh, good enough. It's invisible. That's what I want. Now, is this still heaven for you? How fast is this going? Almost 1500 kilometers an hour. So yeah, 1470. That's the max it'll reach. <laughs> what do you mean 3D No, I cannot do multiple laps. Oh, partners get paid by Twitch. That's pretty cool. <laughs> kind of looks like the snake game. Yeah. Sort of.
Oh god, now when I zoom out, you see the true cursedness of the park. This is hell on earth. <laughs> and to be honest, this is the best feature. Oh, thank you very much, Hidden4125. <laughs> um, no, no one has gone on this coaster yet because they all get bored. Oh, two people have gone on it. Yes, two people have gone on it. They had the patience to walk the entire queue line to get on this amazing ride. <laughs> now that's some endurance. You should try to get some clips for your alert sounds. I do actually have a clip of guests yelling. Do you guys remember that uh, video I made last Christmas? Uh, jingle yells. <laughs> Where I just pitch shifted guests yelling to the tune of Jingle Bells. <laughs> it was a great shit post. <laughs> I could use that. I should still have it. I keep all my footage. Which is a bit of a problem with these live streams because I. It's about a terabyte by now in total. And I have two terabyte hard disk space. But that'll be full in a couple of months. <laughs> my favorite shit posts are on my second channel though. The best. Another great one is Zoom. <laughs> Alright, see I chilling with you. It was nice chilling with you. Does anyone remember the video Zoom? <laughs> I love that. Or, uh... What's it called? Uh, one I love that's not exactly a shitpost. Long Trains. Spawning in super slow motion. That's also one of my favorite second channel videos I've ever made. It was amazing. Just. They're just there. They're spawning and then the piano music. Do a zoom now, alright. Lol, that text though. <laughs> the April's Fool's toilet video was great. Thank you. Although, it's funny. Obviously, a lot of that information was just nonsense. With like, you know, you need at least one sink per area and whatever. That was all nonsense. But quite a few of, quite a lot of the information, like you can charge the most 60 cents or whatever. And like the information about the award that I probably put in it is actually true. <laughs> I wonder what scaling factor we are. We must be at a scaling factor of like 40. All right, let's zoom back out again. This is actually going much quicker. Whee! And now it's tiny. <laughs> Just look how small that is. <laughs> this is uh, 0 0.5. If you leave it at like 10, it almost looks like theme park. Well, if I put this here, you can see it for quite a while. It's at 7 now. This is 10. This is exactly 10. Uh, 
All right, let's try to play the game. Let's build a roller coaster, shall we? Uh. Oh, this is the part. <laughs> I don't think we can build a coaster. <laughs> All right, this is six. Let's build a junior coaster. Uh, okay, that's also not going to happen. Maybe. <laughs> Look at the graphics. When you zoom out. <laughs> Look at the merry-go-rounds. <laughs> I gotta love the text in the middle. <laughs> uh, this is like like eight bit roller coaster tycoon. Reminds minds me at a little game that Oli four one four made a long time ago, like Pico Tycoon or Pico Coaster or whatever you called it, something with Pico. <laughs> All right, what is normal? I believe... Oh God, it's lagging severely. Okay, this is normal. Fun fact, there are about, you know, the pixel density is still... No, wait, it's not the same, Never mind. I'm Jim. I thought it was still the same, it's just more zoomed out and then it looks different, but it's not. All right, I think that's about uh, it for today. It was definitely a lot of fun. I haven't laughed this much in a long time. So thank you guys very much for all the great ideas. Because most of these are not my idea. So thank you guys for the great ideas. And thank you for coming along. Let's save it one more time. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all in the next live stream. Have a good night.